as uh, whoa. Before we get over to here, uh, there's a couple cards in the back. These tops cards, these are pretty popular. These are pretty cool still. A little collectible to this day. Got Charmeleon there. Uh, some more there. And then, wow, of course, what do you know hidden behind here, the very last one? What more fitting than to end on the GOAT, the man himself, Charizard. Charizard base set, everybody. That is... Welcome back to another episode with Kurt Ketchumir. This episode, we have a, a special episode here. Um, one of my friends, they have a family business of uh, buying, reselling, and just a small small car dealership. Uh, one, of the, one of their old vehicles, he found a binder full of his old Pokemon cards from way back in the day, maybe 15, 20 years ago. Um, he's looked through them. He gave them to me. He knows, you know, donate them over to the show. Very thank you to him, Samer. We do, we do thank you for that. Um, I've yet to go through it. I kind of wanted to unbox it, open it up with you guys, kind of my surprises with you. Um, I know a couple are in there. He told me a few, but I'm curious to see what else is in there. It's a, it's a pretty thick binder here. Um, and as, as always, we'll always uh, we'll throw two more guys at the end of the, wheel, end of the show on the wheel here. Moving up to 15. That means after today, there is only nine spots available, and we will get the show running with that. So... Without further ado, let's jump into this binder. Man, so let's jump into this thing. As you can see, cool artwork on the front here. I mean, we got the old Sammer name written. We got the Reef sticker. Guy's a skater. Guy's a surfer. The guy's a the guy is just a stun. The guy is so cool. Uh, he's single. Um, Yosemite Sam for Sammer. Smile. Uh, we got the Schultz dope threads. And then in the back here, we got the old plastic. And then obviously, you always, always holla for Thug Nation. Um, we got the Sector 9. Uh, we got skateboards. And, you know, we got the, the schmuckclothes.com. So some free advertising for those places. So, Sammer, without further ado, let's see what you got in this artifact. Oh. And like every every binder that I've ever gone through, the goods are usually in the first page here. And boy, we got some good ones. So just by looking here, we got we got Ancient Mew promo card back in the day. Lieutenant Surge Electra Buzz Hollow, uh, Nitto King from the base set, Erica's Vile Plume. We got Ampharos, Flareon. Hollow Jungle. We got Alakazam from the base set here. Vaporeon. Azumarill. Let's flip it over and keep going. Whoa. We got some over here on the back. Back side. We got Dark Electro. Dark Rapid Dash. Dark Persian. Those are all from the Rocket set. We got the Koga's Beedrill Hollow from the Gym Challenge. Right on. We got some Japanese cards here. Those are always interesting. Magby. From the uh, Neo Genesis Rare card. Um, we got Dark Arbok Hollow from Team Rocket. Scyther Hollow from Jungle. Clefairy Hollow from Base Set. We got Hitmonlee Rare Fossil. Clefable Rare Jungle. We got Arcanine. We got, whoa, we got the Magneton Hollow from the Fossil Set here. Wigglytuff from the Jungle Hollow. Classic Ivysaur Second Gen. And then over here, wow, we got some more. The hollows just keep going, folks. Snorlax, hollow, jungle. Uh, Hitmonchan, second uh, generation, phase two, hollow. Um, Gyarados, base set, hollow. Dodrio, uh, Blaine's Dodrio, Japanese. We got a rare Nidoqueen Queen, jungle. Um, we got Dugong uh, from the base set there. We got War Turtle from the base set there. Kadabra, base set, Zatu, Neo Genesis. Over on this side, we got Sea King from the jungle. We got Articuno from the fossil. This one, I was told a little backstory. I knew a couple cards coming in. This one, he used to have a parrot, ironically. Parrot named Petey, I believe. 
And uh, out of all the cards, PD goes for the one, the bird card. Articuno it takes a takes a little peck at him. Maybe he was a little jealous, but nonetheless, cool story, cool card, cool pet. I'm sure. Uh, we got up top. We got the Mewtwo promo. Um, we got Dark Dragonite or Dragonair from Team Rocket, Kakana, Lickitung, Onyx. And, oh, we got a little Kangaskhan Hollow from the jungle down there. More cards here. We got. Beedrill, Shadowless Beedrill from the original base set, original, original. So that's a good little rare card to have for a rare. Uh, we got Charmeleon up there, Machoke, um, Slowpoke, Dark Electrode, uh, Executor, Jungle, uh, Golem, Golem down here from Fossil. That's actually a first edition card. Uh, Victory Bell next to him. It's going to be from the Jungle, rare card. Uh, we got Zubat, and we got some Japanese. Um, whatchamacallit, Jinx. We got Rapid Dash, Japanese uh, Sabrina's Hypno, Dark War Turtle from the Team uh, Team Rocket series, Persian Jungle. We got another first edition Magmar there from Fossil. So, I mean, we're not even halfway done, folks. I mean, usually the hollows are gone at this point, which I think they are, but still, nice cards here. We got we got Rhydon from Jungle, Amistar Fossil first edition. We got Nidorina, uh Jungle. We got Revive. From the base set, Weeping Bell, Jungle, Ponyta, Mr. Mime, Sabrina's Mr. Mime, uh, Japanese. We got Golbat. We got Kingler next to him, first edition. Another one, Graveler, first edition. Weezing, first edition. Tentacruel, first edition. Slowbro, first edition. Arbok, first edition. Uh, Seedra, first edition. Those are all from the Fossil. We got Dark War Turtle from Team Rocket there. Uh, let's just see what we got here. Flip through it for you guys here. So there's some some good some more first editions there. You got Cloister from uh, Fossil first. Uh, you got Parasect down there at the bottom bottom right of the first page. First edition from Jungle over here. Uh, you got the old Pikachu right here. That's the base set one. Uh, you got Electabuzz. He's a rare from the base set. Uh, Meowth Classic. Let's flip again here. See what else we can get in this bad boy. We got some more. Uh, Coffeen, we've got a, a first edition Slowpoke in the center of there. Uh, towards the bottom, we've got Machop, base set. we got Charmander, everyone's one of their favorites. Second page, we got Ammonite. we got Dark uh, Dark Weezing here. He's a, he's a rare from the Team Rocket set. Um, yeah, let's, let's see what else we got here. Bunch of the originals again. Base sets, jungles, um, what should I call it? Base two over here. Got some rocket base set, fossil first edition right there. Kabuto in the middle. Uh, Sabrina's Ghastly from the gym gym series. Uh, more first editions at the bottom there. Um, next page. Got a couple more base set, base two rocket. Um, gym challenge even Blaine down there. He's a, a rare trainer. You can get him also hollow version. Next page, we got, you know, got some more Japanese. We got some more rare trainers like this Pokemon Trader. He's a, that's a rare card. A um, couple first editions there. Fossil phase two, a bunch of train uh, energies. Next page after here. Looks like we're into the energies here. These are, these are actually worth going through people. Um, you know, these ones you can find shadowless cards in there. Like for example, here let me pull one out here. So you take out, if I can get one out, you take out one of these energies. A way to tell if they're like uh, rare or valuable. The bottom of the card here will have a year. The base set is 1999, and uh, it's not going to zoom in there, I guess. But it. Uh, let me get some light, actually.
Let me get some light there. All right, so kind of see here, right next to the number here of the card, next to that is the year. And uh, that says 1999 Wizards. So scroll a little bit over, go to here. It has a bunch of years. It's based on 95, 96, and 98, and it's a Nintendo. Um, if it's shadowless, which is the first ones made, right next to that 98, it'll have another 99 on there. Those are, those are a little more valuable. And even over here by the 99, if you get it to say 99 to 2000 Wizards, that means it's the fourth print, which are the last ones made from the base set, which can also be a little more valuable. Not quite as much as the Shadowless, but still definitely more valuable than just a regular old card. Not much people pay attention to these cards or you know keep them around. So it's worth looking into your energies when everyone's just got a huge stack. So over here we've got a couple more, a couple more guys in there. You got Clefairy, Retita, Dark Radicate. Um, and the other side, whoa, we got some cards from the movie. Uh, Mewtwo Strikes Back. Pikachu's Vacation, that was the one, the little movie short series or short show before the movie. Um, I believe the first Pokemon in the movie. Um, Pikachu's Vacation, again, there's more here. Mewtwo Strikes Back, some of these are um, holographic, as you can see. Some of those are pretty sick. Um, but man, look at that one. I think we all remember that one from the movie. Mewtwo, that, that guy was just, he definitely stole the show in Pokemon. I, I feel like he definitely got ripped off in the cards. Uh, his moves weren't as strong as, uh, whoa, before we get over to here, uh, there's a couple cards in the back. These tops cards, these were pretty popular. These are pretty cool still. A little collectible to this day. We got Charmeleon there. Uh, some more there. And then, wow, of course, what do you know hidden behind here, the very last one. What more fitting than to end on the GOAT. The man himself, Charizard. Charizard base set, everybody. That is just that's the that's the one everyone's looking for. That's that's the guy started all. That's that's the guy. Charizard unlimited base set. Definitely, you were definitely a cool kid if you had this guy. Obviously, there's someone on the back here. Lugia. Out of all people, we we just got this guy in one of the blister packs here. English version. This is a Japanese one. Um, English cards are worth usually a little more. Usually you can just knock a Japanese card in half. That's usually what it costs or it's what it's worth. But hey, very cool card. These are arguably the most sought after ones from each set. And, you know, this is from the base set easily, number one. And then Lugia, Neo Genesis. He was the big one there, even though there was a new trio of guys Mangenium, For Alligator, and um, Typhlosion. But he was one of the unique ones, along with the other three legendary dogs, but he was the guy you wanted. But wow, Charizard, look at that, you know, just sitting in the back of a car. Who knows how long it's been there? 15 years, just untouched. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, my gosh. Once again, Sam, thank you so much. And let's spin that wheel. Before we do the wheel, commercial break. Mr. Monkey, today we got a very special, special advertisement here for you. It's for gas. Hello, do you have a car? Does it take gas? Well, we got the best gas for you in town. Head out to San Diego to Fashion Valley Gas Mart. You get the best gas around. Simply the best gas. Oh, okay. Bye. -bye. All right, we're back as always, as promised. We're gonna do the wheel. We're gonna add two more people to it. Numbers 14 and 15. We still have 44 people, so still comment, subscribe, do everything you can, get in there, and you'll have a shot at the title here. So, let's see what we got. The first one that will be going on the wheel, could they join Joe Netter in um, being having more than one entry into the raffle? So, one out of 44, what do we got here? Yes, Whoa, we got Shia. said tomorrow, so just do it. Make your dreams come true. Number 32. Just do it. 32. That is, I love God. I love God. Thank you so much for following. We all love God. Nice to have you on the show. You are 
Lucky number 14. Best of luck. Let's get the, the second and last guy up for the day on there is. Get to the point where anyone else would quit and you're not going to What are you stop waiting there? for? No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Told you. And it is number 18. Smaff Looper. Smaff Looper. Am I saying that right? It sounds like I'm not, but you are number 15. So, 15 down. 14 of the 15 are different people. Um, Joe Netter still got the advantage on everybody. So, keep playing. Try to get on there. So, yeah. As always, thank you guys so much for watching Kurt Ketchum. This is a very special episode. This means, means a lot. Uh, Sammer, these cards will be cherished, my man. As always. Now, say my name. Kurt Ketchum? You're damn right.